What's up guys, we're to episode 23 of the How to Code a Spigot plugin for 1.15 series. So I was going to make this episode about packets for particles, but we're going to go ahead and skip that and we'll do that another time. Because the way you spawn in particles from the last video, it works perfectly fine. Better to use a method from the API than to go in and do some packets. Really, you should only use packets when it's necessary, because they are pretty annoying, they're pretty hard to do, and they really don't help that much more for with lag. So, in today's video, we're going to be talking all about this thing in the corner of my screen, a scoreboard. In today's video, we're just going to talk about how to spawn the scoreboard, what all these things do, what the scores and everything does, and then the next video, I'm going to go over real quick how to animate it and make it look like this. And then to make it look like an animation, it, all it is is a runnable. But there's some things you got to know with the runnable to re reduce the lag, and I'll tell you about that in the next video. So. Our scoreboard in this episode is very basic. It just shows the rank, online players, and the total kills, and these are mob kills. And without further ado, let's get into how to make this. All right, so in your IDE, let's go ahead and create a new project. And this project, whatever you want, I'm gonna name it, uh, I can call it Hub Scoreboard, because that's what I imagine the scoreboard would be for. I'm press next, go to libraries, and I'm gonna add that spigot download. And like I said, this is a 1.15 series, so this the API reason for the scoreboard is a 1.15 base, and there's not much different between the other versions, and I'll explain what the difference is when we get to them. I'm gonna go ahead and create my first package. I'm gonna name it me.codedred. Dot the name of the project, hub scoreboard. We're gonna create that main class. And of course, we're gonna do the extends Java at the top. Extends Java plugin. And then get that on enable and on disable. Now, scoreboard API is pretty easy to work with. There are a few things to take note and that are the actual scores. So you saw one in the beginning of the video, my scoreboard had these numbers to the far right. It said three, two, one, zero. And what this whole intention for the scoreboard was when Mojang and Bucket and um, Minecraft designed it, it's supposed to display some scores. It's supposed to display how many kills you got or whatever health and stuff like that. But most of the people don't use that score setting. They kind of just put their own score there. And there's a few reasons behind this. It's that the actual scoreboard, it's based the way the numbers are scored, the way the scores are leveled. So say you had player scores, player kills here, and then you have like online players. The amount goes on top. So if there is a hundred people online, but you only have two kills, then the, the order is gonna switch. The player will go on bottom and the online will go on top. So you saw my scoreboard and it had three, two, one, zero. That order will never change because the score is three, two, one, zero. Highest score go on top, lowest score on bottom. So this is why a lot of people skip the score thing and just put their own message inside the name. So nothing me talking about it. Let's actually get into the code. The first thing I want to do, um, let's go ahead and make this implements listener. Go ahead and import that. And the on enable, we're gonna put that register events. And I'm gonna keep everything in this main class. Next video, I might move it all around, but for right now, let's just put everything in this main class. So I'm gonna initialize all the events in this, this, which is all this class. Next, I'm gonna make an event handler call it public void on join and it's be the player join event so right here all i'm doing is i'm creating this event the player join event just so we can spawn in that scoreboard whenever the player joins so they don't have to run a command or anything like that it just spawns in the scoreboard right when the player joins the server and we can deal more with that later but now let's go into the actual creating of the board so I'll name this method public void. Uh, we can call it create board. Why not? 
and we actually need to pass in a player 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 go ahead and import player now the board is one on this manager this manager creates the board it gets the main board and everything and then you edit the board itself so we need a manager so scoreboard all lowercase scoreboard a manager call it manager let's set it equal to bucket dot get scoreboard manager go ahead and import scoreboard manager and i'm pressing control shift o to automatically import it next you want to create that scoreboard so scoreboard call it board set it equal to manager and here you can say get and you see you get, get main scoreboard or get the new scoreboard and we're, everything we're doing is custom so we're getting a new scoreboard we import scoreboard and let's import not the 1.15 one this is the nms one let's import this one right here we do not need mns for this screw that mns is too difficult and uh, next we're going to create an objective we'll call it obj set equal to board dot register new objective now here is the differences in versions so if you're coding this in the earlier version, like 1.8, 1.9, and I believe up to 1.12, you'll use this first one right here, and that is register new objective, and you pass in two strings. But we are on 1.15, so we're gonna use either the second one or the third one. I'm gonna use this second one, pass in three strings. So how these strings work, pretty easy. The first string is the, oh, let me, uh, import an objective first and there we go so the first string is the name and this name is a custom name it can it's a unique name every single scoreboard will have like a scoreboard name quote unquote so you can name it test but letting you know if you have two scoreboards on the server name test then it will break so this is like a like a unique name so i typically name it what my plugin name is hub scoreboard and then if I have multiple scoreboards, I'd label them one, two, blah, blah, blah. So this is gonna be our first scoreboard in our plugin called Hub Scoreboard. Like I said, it's a unique name. The second one is a criteria. And what is a criteria? I think I have it pulled up. Yeah, here it is. So these are all criterias for scoreboards. And if I, Let's go to this real quick. So here you can see all the different criterias. Ones that show your health, XP, level, food, air, all this different stuff. And what I want to say about it is don't use it. Uh, yeah, it's a built-in thing for Minecraft. Like I said, Minecraft wants you to use the actual score. So you have a health and it's set to 20. The score is set to 20 and it decreases as the player's health and stuff like that. We are Java coders. We can code this ourselves because we are amazing, right? So we're gonna set as dummy. Score only changed by commands and not the game events such as death. So this really is a dummy scoreboard. We change it whenever we want to change it. We change it when we deem it's necessary. Now, if you wanted to have a sort of scoreboard that changes on a death, it updates. Go ahead and do that if you don't want to put more code in but we can easily go and put an event on player death and update that scoreboard super easy so like i said we're using that dummy key that dummy criteria all right so if we go in here the criteria like i said is dummy this third one is the title this is the title of your scoreboard you can change it later on you pull whatever you want here. If, like I said, you can put tester right now and you can change it later on. I'm going to go ahead and put a custom one. So chat color dot translates on our color codes. And I'm going to move this down a line. So I'm translating all, uh, translating all the color codes and I'm just going to make it look a little nice. We can say at A, at L, and then at 2, at L. I'll put my name in there and that A at L and then we'll finish it with those. So we'll just put a custom name and like I said, you can change this later on. How do you change it later on? Type in obj.setDisplayName. 
right there. So if you don't want to put the name in here, go ahead and you can put it right there. Change the display name. Next, we're going to put, we want to set it somewhere. So we're going to set display slot. Type in display slot, and you're going to put in where you want this scoreboard. Where do you want it? Of course, the only really feasible one, the one that everyone uses, is the sidebar. This is one that you saw in the beginning of the video, where it put on the side. Now, there's other ones like player list, which is this tab list, and the below name. I have no idea where below name goes. I assume it goes below the name of like the player. I guess like when you see the player rank around, I have no idea. Um, player list is tab. There's better ways to do tab lists. We can do that in another episode, but we're going to use sidebar. We'll create that sidebar scoreboard. Once we have it set to the sidebar, you need scores. A scoreboard in 1.15 will not display unless you have a score. In 1.8, you can display it with just the title. But in 1.15, you have to have a score. So let's create a score. Score, score equals obj.getScore. And you can see we're passing in a string here. So this is our custom text. We can put whatever you want. Make sure you import score. You put whatever you want in here. And the first thing that I did in the beginning, I do track color dot blue. And I'm going to say plus. And I'm just going to put like a little line in here to separate this, the, what, our information from the title. And of course you can do whatever you want. Like I said, super custom. But once we have this information in the score, we need to set the score. So score dot set score. I'm going to put three here. And this is what I'm talking about. This is the whole quote unquote score system. If you wanted to, you can put like, actual things in here like bucket get online players that size and that will put the size of the players in the score but like I said at the beginning of the video the position of these values changes on how high the score is a so higher score higher position lower score lower position and I like everything custom so we're gonna do it custom so don't care about the score it's just there for position I'm gonna copy this and we're gonna create some more scores we paste it three times, I mean two times, and then we're going to change it some score, score two, score three, and then make sure you change the actual set scores to the ones it is. So it score two, score two, score three, score three, and in score two, it's going to be check color dot aqua, and we're going to say, we'll say uh, online players. And here's like I said, you can put the online players actually in here. Bucket dot get online players dot size, but depending on how many players, it'll change the position. So I'm not gonna say that. I'm gonna put two in the score and up in this message, I'm gonna say plus chat color dot dark aqua plus bucket dot get online players dot size. So I'm putting it actually in this little kind of title for the score, not the score itself. I'm putting that as two. Next, we're going to say total kills. And this is mob kills. We'll put mobs. And in here, we'll say, oh, change the color from blue to aqua. And the same thing, check color dot dark aqua plus and I'll move it down a line because I'm going to do player dot get statistics statistic dot and this is really interesting I didn't know if I showed this in their past video I might have but these are player statistics so this is all saved in the world folder by uh, your server and you see there's a bunch of different statistics that you can do I usually do the mob kills or the player time just to note the player time is in ticks, so you need to translate that into actual numbers to understand. But uh, once we have the mob kills on here, we are pretty much done. Uh, oh, I did have a rank, right? Yeah, we can do that. We can do that. So I also had another one. I had a third one that I called rank, and I kind of just put a custom one in there rank and 
So what I just did for that, I just typed in owner. Uh, if you actually have a plugin itself, we can connect this to Poppy and get that rank. And I'll make a video on that soon of how to connect to Poppy. But right now, um, Poppy's placeholder's API, if you didn't know. And uh, right now, we'll set that to 1. Just like that, our scoreboard is done. The last thing we need to do to actually set that scoreboard is type in player. Dot set scoreboard to board. Now in the on enable, type in create board, pass in the event dot get player. And then what else I'm gonna do is for reloading, because I like to reload my server, we're gonna say We'll say uh, if bucket dot get online players not online mode online players dot is empty. So if this is actually false, so if that is false, then we could say for player online bucket dot get online players, and all we need to do is create that board. Create board for the online player. So this right here, like I said, if we're doing slash reload on the server and there's still players online, we just reload the server and then we add them to this board after. All right, everything looks good in here except I messed up, missed a score here. So I'm gonna type in score three, dot set score, and we'll set it to one and then we'll set the rank to zero. All right. With all that done, let's go ahead and go into my SRC. Let's go create a file in this file that we call the plugin.yml. You're gonna need a main, and your main's gonna be your package of scoreboard dotted with your main class. And then the name of it, hub scoreboard. The version, I'm gonna call it beta, and then the author. Now, I didn't say this before, I kind of messed up the beginning of the episodes where I kind of had uh, my packages had capitalized, capitalization, and everything. Uh, it's actually the right way in Java coding is that packages are all lowercase. And that's my fault for actually making it capitalized. My bad. I, I get so used to like bigger mistakes that I do that I forget to do it, fix it sometimes. So the correct way to create packages is all lowercase. So your package should be all lowercase. And that's like, that's not a thing that it should be. That's just a Java kind of uh, way. All right, now this is done. Let's export it to my server and test it out. Export, next. Let's call this. I'll call it hub, SB for short. I'm going to reload my server. Disconnect. And there we go. You see the scoreboard to the right looks just like how we set it. it has the name, the title at the top. It has these little lines right here separating the title from the actual information. We have the online players, the total kills, and that's mobs, and then our rank. And just like that, we have our scoreboard set. And that's all I'm going to show you in today's video. Actually, before I end it, let's go over some mistakes. So what can you mess up on this? There is a 40 character limit to these scores. 40 characters. That is a 1 point, I think, 13 plus thing. If there are more than 40 characters in your score, you will crash. You will not be able to join the server. How do you check this if it's custom kind of thing? Just say if the length of it is more than 40, then just cut it down to 40. Now, if you're less than 1.13, the, the limit to the scoreboard is 32 characters. If you have more than 32 characters, the player will crash. So make sure that the actual text is below 40. And that is pretty much all that can kind of go wrong with this other than the scores being messed up and yep yeah, so next video i'm gonna go over 
actually how to update this scoreboard and how to make it look animated, like you saw in the beginning of the episode. Thank you guys for watching. Very simple episode, very easy, but can make your plugins look 10 times better. These are great for mini games, great for uh, kind of like what I did, the hub kind of a uh, plugin. And I really hope you do use it in your plugins. Like I said, it makes them look so much better. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.